Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a, a uh, lesson. Um, this is lesson one, and this is kind of like the second video of this um, series, basically going on about Java programming. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to program a Hello World application. Um, this is pretty standard when learning um, a code language. You want to learn how to print to the console. So the console is basically if you open up terminal it's kind of that idea so if we go ahead and click ls it goes ahead and lists the directory it knows that prompt so it's the very very simple printing so this hello world project is no it has no GUI which is the graphical interface it just prints it in raw text to a terminal command prompt kind of window so um, we're going to be doing that kind of base just to start it off so if we go into Java project go over to next and we're going to name this hello world and this is going to be very quick it's going to be nice it's going to be easy to get started and um, there definitely is some stuff that you're going to have to uh, kind of take note I will put some notes in the description that I actually uh, took while uh, learning in class so um, yeah so hello world um, don't worry about this right here that's just uh, something else um, but anyways we're in hello world you can see right here we got hello world and then we got SRC JR system library for right now we don't have to deal with JRE system library we're just dealing with SRC and that stands for source so now we're going to click on right here we can either right click or go up to file and then new file and um, oops sorry file new other and we're gonna import or create a class so this is of course the Java class and this is the Java Eclipse if you'd like to go back to the original video where I showed you how to download it and all that good stuff uh, there will be a link in the description and if I remember there will be an annotation somewhere around here so we're going to go ahead and click class next and we can name this basically anything we want so that means that we can make something really inappropriate and it'd still be fine um, that's always the easiest way to kind of um, establish what you can and cannot uh, make so I can go ahead and make this some swear word or whatever but this class name can be whatever you just have to refer to it later so um, so go ahead and name it main uh, print so um, you can go ahead and click finish and that's gonna go ahead and uh, make your class so it actually starts you right out in here but if for some reason you're not you go into hello world source default package and the main print dot java um, of course yours can be named different or it can do the same thing as me so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off um, you're probably just better off copying this statement it's called public it's public static void main and then um, some syntax so uh, this is the basically main method so we're gonna go ahead and do that alright and once we have that statement open I actually messed up with uh, this I did open parentheses not um, these uh, brackets so that is very important the syntax right here and this will be in the description as well so you can go ahead and do the public static void right in the description so you can copy and paste that in it is best to memorize it I just kinda had a brain lapse so um, you're gonna go ahead and do that basically you just public static void main you're gonna have to commit that to memory and then again with this syntax you see right here we got an open bracket open bracket close bracket close bracket so for every open one you have a closed one so there's that one there's that one so you can go ahead and kind of um, picture that that's something you gotta commit to memory now um, we're gonna go ahead and say system so system we're saying the system has to do this we're saying dot out um, this is just mean um, it's pretty standard syntax the dot out and then we're going to name the function which is print line and this is going to make actually a new line the line ln uh, makes several functions you can also do print f you can do print uh, but we're going to do print line and uh, again this is stuff that you just gotta remember so I will put my notes in the description that I took in Microsoft Word and now we got a quotes so this is making the string so now we're gonna go ahead and say hello world if we can spell hello correctly 
and then we can go ahead and we can semicolon that out. So now if we go ahead and run it, we can actually see that console will give us hello world. So if we go ahead and do that, we got hello world. Now I'm gonna do repeat it yet again. System dot out dot print line. And now I'm gonna say my name is Andrew. Again, same exact thing. You just gotta commit some of these things to memory. It kind of stinks, you got a lot to memorize, but it's kind of, uh, yeah, simple. So now we're going to get into a little bit of math. We're going to go ahead and send a integer. So integer, I-N-T, again, you got to commit this syntax, and I will put all these notes in the description. Test, um, test, we can name this variable anything you want. Again, the swear words, whatever you want. I always do that just because it, it puts it to your memory that you could say int fuck and uh, basically I shouldn't be swearing like that but int fuck and you could go ahead and set the fuck as your variable so that always commits it to mind even though it's uh, kind of really uh, pushing it but int um, test equals one two three enter and you can go ahead and see it um, Eclipse doesn't like that right there because it hasn't been used yet. So um, that's that. But we're, now we're going to go ahead and print to the console a simple calculation. So print line. And you can see everything that's in quotes will print to console. And then I'll show you how to add things into it with variables. So we're going to go ahead and system.out.println. Again, the same exact thing. And I'll show you a little shortcuts later in the series. So system.out.println. And we're going to do a simple calculation. And I did colon space just because I want it formatted that way. It's it's nothing. Um, this colon space is nothing um, that like crazy. It's just putting a space in colon so that it looks that way. Now, um, this is again getting used to the normal syntax. Once you get these basic ideas and concepts in your head, it kind of makes sense for the rest of pretty much all the language. You're gonna have to memorize some things, some equals, uh, how things work. But we're going to go ahead and do plus test right here. And now we can go ahead and semicolon that out. Again, you got to put the semicolon. you got to keep thinking in semicolon. you got to do that. So now what we did is a simple calculation plus test. And test is the variable that I signed right here. See, Java even highlights it. So now if uh, we haven't done the simple calculation yet, we can see right here that uh, a simple calculation one two three and now we're going to do test times we can actually go ahead and do our simple um, like basically anything you can go ahead and do that times two and uh, we're good right there so now if we run it again and uh, go ahead and now it's 246 if we times it by some crazy billion number we're going to get some crazy billion number um, it doesn't seem to like that crazy number. We're going to cut it down just a little bit. And we just do that. And uh, plus test times 4. So we just kind of like algebra. If we go ahead and set this to x, um, and we go ahead and set x times 4, and there we go we'll get x times 4. If you wanted to put it into algebra sense, it makes a lot of sense. You do a lot of this algebra. And you can also do that over here. So we can do x equals that times 66. And we run it, and now we have a pretty long number. So um, a lot of it's math, and since it's a computer, it knows math. It it runs on math so you don't have to worry about it being like crazy and not knowing what you're saying because the computer knows math it's math is programmed right into your com computer so uh, yeah this was um, my first tutorial on hello world I showed you how to make a simple calculation and print simple lines to console next time we'll go into int double string and that um, there's another variable I'm missing one um, somewhere but I'll go into those what they are used for um, double is used for decimals but I get into that later and um, I 
I want to just make a schedule for these videos, maybe every Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. And also tell me what you think of maybe making a website for these Java tutorials. Let me know everything you think down in the description. I hope you guys like these because they are um, kind of complicated for me to make, especially since I have to do a lot of thinking. But in a way, it kind of helps me study and learn the language more myself. So guys, I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to more videos in this series. So let me know what day you would like to see it every week. I can only make one one a week because it, it's kind of hard with schoolwork and everything that's going on. So guys, I hope you like this video. And also, if uh, you're wa still watching, I have a, a um, iPhone 4S parody video coming up for YouTube. Um, we're actually doing in my media arts class at school. So it'll be really awesome to post that to YouTube, and I hope people are excited for that. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.